was is that it's kind of like if you want to look at the Kanye yeah. Yeah. epidemic right now. Pimp was an only child. Right. Yeah. Kanye is an only child. Right. So usually when you in that kind of mode, you got to go back to the essence of what makes a person who they are. And usually only key is looking for role models. Right. Looking right. for somebody to follow. So if you look at Pimp situation, he never started out on his own. It was always under somebody. He was under Russell with Big Time. Yeah. And then yeah. he left from Russell and went to, you know, Lil J or whatever. He always had to have somebody watching his own box, right? Yeah. So uh like the time when he got into it with uh with Master P, he he dissed us on the song and dissed Master P on the song at the same time. And um I heard that shit. He talking about he came from Dallas and some niggas tried to yeah, tease him. Yeah. Ain't nobody never asked who the Dallas niggas he was talking about yeah. though. Mm. <laughs> so, we ain't just gonna talk about how far the testing went, but you know, <laughs> you know, shit. It was different. Yeah. It was different. I mean, it, and then during this time, that was this was when like they got the two votes for the being Atlanta this year. But back then, it was and this was when Ray Lewis. Had supposedly, you know, stabbed, killed the dude. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, what? Yeah, Brad, yeah, Brad yeah. hit the old girl in the face. We, we was at the at the party right, where they right. where it was at. So like the city had shut down because it was an ice storm. Right. And I'm saying all that to say we got stuck at Pimp House with three six. It's his mafia. So yeah. we we all in the house, and, you know, and actually uh, the kind of stuff that they was. T I don't want to say the song, yeah, but the song that they <laughs> had had recorded. Most of the pimp's verse came from us just sitting around talking, talking. and Kimbo just talking about, you know, bitches and yeah. shit. Yeah, being me. Yeah, yeah. So, man, what you say again? Man, 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 say that boy, man. Man, what you talking about? And so he went in the mic and bust everything that the nigga was talking about. I mean, everything. Yeah. I was, first, I was like, say, man, but then I took it like admiration. Like, yeah. okay, you know, it's. Maybe it's out of respect, you know what I'm saying? But that's when he said, I started peeping. Oh, okay. He done went and found some people from Dallas saying where the Crooked Eye nigga did. Yeah. Nigga, I come back, Crooked Eye, shout out to Crooked Eye, man. Yeah. Cold I lyricist, mean, but it fucked me up. And we meet the Cali niggas. I leave one day. No, they cool. Next day we come back, niggas slide up on me and tell me, oh, Kimbo out the Grove, nigga. I know who you is, nigga. I, nigga, I, I got people out of North Dallas. They told me you the real deal. You know, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, say, man, it's crazy, but people do their homework on you like that, though. Cause yeah. I guess in the industry, you got to do that, make sure you ain't around no snake or no shit, you know? Yeah. But that was weird. Like, oh, if you did the homework on me and you feel like I'm good people, I'm good dude, I'm about what you about. Like, my thing was, I was facing, I was finna go to jail at that time for a uh, drug charge. Yeah. Like, we were trying to pay lawyers and shit, trying to get me off of it. Well, shit, Lil' J was trying to help out every motherfucking thing, trying to, but I had to go. So this was my thing. This was my whole conversation with Pimp, man. Hey, fam, I know I got this rap shit, my nigga. Yeah. And I'm not acting. I tell him, my nigga, I've been doing this for, I talk like I rap, for real. That's how I'm talking to this nigga. Like, I know I can sell some albums, bro, but I got this time going on. I'm trying to figure out how to make this transition from this street shit to this rap game, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't want nothing from you. Just help me do that. But at the time, I didn't realize his situation. Yeah, yeah. So I think if he would been in a better situation, he probably could have. Yeah. And, and then let me say this: dude was a cool dude. Right, 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 right. And so we had did, we had did business for like like before this time we had did business probably for like like probably eight nine years right. prior to that. You know, I did business with his mama. You know, his mama went mama to the West. college that I went to the R. college. R.I.P. Mama West. Yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, I mean, we had did good business up until this point. Yeah. And usually, you know, don't, don't nobody know what a person's situation is to make them do, you know, the things to do or say the things they say. But uh, he just kind of, you know, jumped off the rocket. And, uh, you know, uh, we was able to patch it up before he died, which was, you know, which was right. cool. Yeah, that was good. You know, you know what I'm saying? We was able to do that. But, and then when he got to breaking it down to me, you know, why he was on what he was on, you know, drugs is a major, it's a crazy thing. And I kept man. saying that shit, no yeah. disrespect yeah. though, but like, when you a nigga and you come from the hustle life and you serve niggas and you watch niggas and bitches yeah. get high every day, like when I got around a lot of motherfuckers, I was like, man, these niggas, they do this, that, like, but I guess that's that. You know, the industry life though, 
But, you know, some of us come from a code to where we'll never do none of that shit. I don't give a damn how much yeah, money I get, it. you know, because that shit going to make me be who I'm really not. You know what I'm saying? And I, don't, I don't want to be nobody else. And nah, then, for and real. Then, this, Kimbo don't, probably don't even remember this this part. But, uh, <laughs> tell him what I done did, man. Uh, uh, he, uh, I had paid him, like, you know, most of the money up front because we were so, you know, so used to you know, doing, you know, business. I was at the room. Yeah. So. You remember I kept telling you when the yeah. nigga left? Yeah. I was like, what are you running that's from? That's what I was just going to say. That's the point I was going to bring up. He, so, so the nigga, the nigga called. Oh, then he called me. Yeah, yeah. It fucked me up because these the niggas handing you the money. But he called me and was like, they lights off over there at the house because the ice storm, the they ice fucked storm, up. Yeah, yeah. He shot me a story. Me being a real nigga, like, I let them know. They on some real shit. Yeah, tell him to come through. You know, we got him. We, you know, because we know he's going to take care of the business. Yeah. The nigga come through and get the money at the room. I just heard somebody. So, so let's just say the room. I'm like, what is he running for? Let's, I was lost. Let's just say the room is <laughs> at the end of the hallway. Right. At the end of the hallway. He come. At, this is over. Like, this, this ain't no big money. This, this is not no big money because I had already paid him most of the money up front. Right. So I was going to give him the rest once he finished the work. So. Thinking, okay, we here, you know. I'm saying his mama had got the room for us, so I'm thinking, okay, right, right. you know, everything is Gucci. Uh, after I gave him that little change or whatever, I mean, this nigga, I mean, this nigga is in a full sprint <laughs> down the hallway. Like he just robbed somebody. Like, so I told him, nigga, I say, I said that nigga running like he just robbed somebody. <laughs> so I went to the window. I think I just got the shower or something. Nigga, I go to the window and look out the window. When I look out the window. I see a van out yeah, there, yeah. somebody standing by the van, they open the door, he run, dive up in that bitch and they burnt yeah, off. Yeah. I'm like, that nigga act like they just hit a lick or something. Yeah, yeah. But we ain't knowing like, like that we hadn't heard all the, yeah, I hadn't heard all the history yeah, yeah. of the bad business practices that that, 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 that fam had. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, cause yeah. I go through Houston everywhere, I heard about people that had altercations with him. And I'm like, man, I never knew. Yeah. Like a lot of times you never knew that about never know that about certain artists like right. how they pack fur with who they want to. I was like, what this nigga running for? I mean, that's just one story. We just, <laughs> we just, album out and just call that motherfucker stories. <laughs> right, 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 right. I mean, yeah, got yeah, it he, and gone. Yeah, he was he was on some I don't know, I can't say what it was. And then right after the end, that's when he started going to jail, you know. Behind the different. Because I was dying, nigga. I was in jail, like praying. Yeah. I hope this nigga hit the unit with me so we can sit and chop it up, you know, like, because it was crazy, because, like, I'm fucking with my fella, like him, face. Yeah. Like, the nigga had me around all the right people. I'm getting yeah. all the right features, everything, but that jail shit fucked me up, man. Like, I, like, I, nigga, I know I'm good with this shit. Like, I know I don't sound like no Dallas nigga, none of that shit. Let me turn around so they can hear me cap one time. <laughs> like, I know I don't sound like no Dallas nigga. I ain't trying to sound like no Dallas nigga. I'm not acting none of this shit. If you know me, you know, hey, man, this man just being him. He talking this shit. Like she say, talk about the little video I dropped. I think it's about at 10K right now. Oh, damn. Yeah. Mm. See, I said 3K first day. Yeah, you know I said 10, oh, yeah, 3K first day. You but know like, what I'm saying? Like, that shit's so okay, funny. Why that shit so oh, funny? Man. Like, you'll think everybody you know Gonna fuck with you. See, we didn't have the we didn't have the internet, so no, it wasn't no internet. It, it, it didn't work like that. So if motherfucker was hating, you probably will never know. No, yeah, yeah. But that shit's so funny, my nigga. Some people, I ain't gonna say no names to give them no shine, but it fucked me up. Some funny looking motherfuckers share my shit and put laughing faces talking about what the fuck. Hey, it's just some game over your head, baby. That's all. And that's the thing I used to always. But that is the blue face. What's the little dude name? The, the new dude, blue face. Blue, that's my nigga, blue face. Blue face rap. How I used to rap. Used to tell me to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> now for real. Yeah. Like I went talking clear and shit. Yeah. For real, blue face. That nigga. That's my nigga. I would always blue tell. Face. I would always tell Kimbo like, say, now nah, you ain't no rapper, dog. You a game spiller. Right. Yeah. You know, just spit that game. So whenever he would. From that point on, whenever he would write, like for instance, when we was in the studio with Daz and them, just he wasn't even sure, you know how you just gonna go in the studio and just lay something or whatever. Right. He wasn't even sure about what he was gonna lay. He was just trying something out. Right. So the first, I think first two words, three, four words, right. He said drop triple four. Now area, block triple four. Block area code two one four. And the grow is yeah. what I'm repping, seven five two one seven. Right. Say. California. Okay, right, nigga, don't ask that.